So on my third generation Fire TV Cube, just installed the latest update and I now see this notification telling me that Launch Manager has now been blocked because Fire Security has disabled this application due to security risks to my device and personal data. So it's basically taking complete control of my device. Any application that it feels is potentially dangerous no more warnings, no more disabling after a couple of hours. Literally, as soon as this process runs, which is now instantaneous, it just removes these applications. So let's clear this warning. Let's now demonstrate this in real time. So let's say I'm a Firestick user. I've gone to Downloader. I've gone to my favorite websites of my favorite streaming YouTubers. You found an application. Let's go for this LM version 1.1.8. Let's click on install. It says, do you want to install it? Let's click on install. Give that a second. So I've now installed an application on my device that I purchased, that I own. Just when I finished installing it, I click on done. And as soon as I go to home, what do I see? I see there's a brand new notification telling me that straight away, once again, zero minutes ago launch manager has been blocked so and i have to say a big thanks to glenn who's one of my followers who told me about this warning when he tried to install the latest launcher manager on his new fire stick this is where he saw this fire security message so and that's one of the best things about this community that we're all trying to do the same thing we're trying to get the best streaming content at the best prices we come across various challenges various hurdles with amazon making changes with amazon blocking stuff but hopefully with you sharing your feedback, with you leaving comments, we can all move forward together and really just become the best cord cutting streaming community on YouTube. So many thanks for being a part of that. Now, when I saw this, this is something that we've been fearing for a very long time where Amazon have that complete control that whenever they feel like they can just say that we don't want you to have this application on your device, maybe in this case, obviously because with launcher manager you can change the default launcher and when you change the launcher you stop seeing amazon adverts so which obviously hurts amazon's bottom line so because this damages that they can now push out this update and just say as soon as anybody tries to install launcher manager just instantly remove that from their device of course they do it under the umbrella of oh this is due to security concerns this is due to privacy concerns this is for your personal data protection we have to remove this but in reality for them it's just all about the money now this update was pushed to my device yesterday so if i just go over to settings go over to my fi tv Let's go to about and we can see my device still showing a 7.6.6.4 has this update where as soon as you install any application on this Amazon blacklist, it will be instantly deleted. I know before they used to do this thing where they would do a periodic scan, maybe every four hours or six hours. If they detect one of these applications on your device, they would then go ahead and disable it. But with this new version or this new update, they're just being very, very aggressive, very, very heavy handed. And it just shows that anytime in the future, I mean, forget changing your launcher, maybe a certain streaming application or maybe an application that gives you access to certain other content. Again, if Amazon feel like this application is hurting maybe their streaming services or their streaming applications, very easy, they could add it to this block list. And before you know it, these applications, once again, will be fully deleted directly from your device. Now, I did cover a previous update in the last video which was the app offload, which is something that for most users I do recommend because it will just take that storage management process away from you. And again, it only affect Amazon applications that you download directly from the Amazon App Store. So anything that you've sideloaded, anything that you've downloaded from anybody's website, those applications will not be affected. I do have a potential fix for this. Even on the latest update, I can still get Launcher Manager to stay running, to stay installed. And you can once again use the home button to launch a custom launcher. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. Also, just to let you know that I am testing the latest second generation Fire Stick Max, as well as the new 4K Fire Stick, both which are running the latest Fire OS 8. Lots of things are not working, like the mouse toggle, like, like certain file managers, like set orientation. So I'm coming up with a couple of different options, different fixes. So again, if you guys are interested in seeing that, 
make sure you are subscribed. So, and just before you go, a quick word from one of our channel partners, our channel sponsors. Right now, if you're looking for a fantastic price to change your IP address, to protect yourself online, really just giving you maximum security for all of your devices. As you can see, this is an exclusive price where you can get that total protection. You can cover every device in your household, all of your Fire Sticks, all of your Fire TVs, all of your Android TVs, all of your phones, tablets, Windows PCs, laptops, all of your devices will be covered with this single charge of just $2.99. So it is 76% off. It is a superb deal. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks if you want to do that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. It is only just for the two weeks. I definitely recommend you check it out. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.